Hello everyone. Recently we have released our new tally extension. So in this particular video I will assist you and guide you that uh, what new release we have made in our tally extension and how you can use it. So once uh, I will download the tally extension you will see the tally extension icon in your uh, widgets. So once I will click on this this particular screen of login will get opened in front of me. So earlier in our extension you needed to log in in the very end or in the mid of uh, selecting the files but now once you will open the extension it will ask you to log in. So let me quickly go ahead and just fill my transact id and password and just proceed towards the login. So you need to simply enter your transact login id and password and then after you need to click on sign on and this is the page where the tally will get tally and tally extension connection will happen so please check as uh, in this particular uh, extension we have provided auto connection feature so do remember that please keep your tally open in the background while working on the extension so please check as it provided me an error of connection fail so what next you need to do i will go ahead and describe you that why this connection failed error came to me and how you if in such errors what step you need to take in order to just resolve it so as if you are using a tally prime so you need to enter the tally company name as you were doing it in our previous extension so once you uh, in our previous extension once you clicked on yes then after you needed to enter the tally company name same which is written as tally here so i will quickly go ahead and just select the tally company name and click on submit now once i clicked on submit it is still providing me the connection fail so there are three reasons why this connection fail happened as we have provided this info in the notice as well so either the tally is not open in the background please check that so in my condition tally is open in the background you are using uh, tally via cloud so in that case ip address and the port number is required of tally uh, cloud so as in this case my tally is on local so it is not on ip the port number is incorrect the port number is a very uh, important part of tally so it should be correct while doing the integration you need to enter the same port number which is in your tally into the tally extension so in my case my port number is different as you can see that here uh, the port number is 9000 but in my tally it is 902 so what i will do i will quickly go ahead and just make the changes i will just put uh, 9002 and click on save once you will click on edit you can very well go ahead and make the changes in your uh, local host tally ip as per your requirement and in the port number and click on save so please check. once i clicked on save then after my tally got connected successfully and i got a, a notice notification as well of connected successfully now link company details uh, it will just check your transact profile and it will check the tally company name and then after it will provide you a warning or notification onto that so you need to click on continue same you were doing in the previous version of uh, tally extension now here on a single screen we have provided both the features first is to download your master data from tally and to send voucher data to tally so this is our tally integration this is for the downloading of master from tally so recently we have released this particular feature in the extension itself let me show you how you can use it so you need to click on download uh, master data from here you can download your item details and your buyer supplier details so you can see that we have provided the download last six month data or download last 12 month data as per your requirement so once you will click on download last six month data it will download an excel file of your item master and please check in the excel file there will be an error column where it will be highlighted what are the important data which are missing in the excel file so you can very well go ahead and make the correction into that and then after you can upload it on transact in your inventory by using our bulk upload feature and you can upload your inventory items now this is how you can uh, go ahead and download your item master now once i go back this is your buyer and supplier detail uh, you can very well go ahead and use the download master and the buyer and supplier detail will also get downloaded in the same uh, there will be an error column where the missing details will be there it will be asking for the missing details you can fill up all the detail and then after you can upload the same excel file on your transact for the bulk buyer and supplier right? now let us go back to our next feature which is tally integration you need to select send voucher data to tally 
once you will select it please check this will be the screen which will be coming in front of your screen so it will provide you a tdl missing error and in the very top on your right hand side you can see check tdl and duplicate vouchers update transact status and remaining option we have provided so as currently i do have tdl in my tally and uh, already i have saved it recently so it, it is taking a little time to refresh so i will just click on i have checked tdl file continue now after that i will select the report which i have downloaded from transact tally integration so click on choose report and i will select sales register i will click on open now please check select document type earlier in our talent integration select document type was there by default but in recent changes we have changed it and select document type will only show once you will select the file so just select the file and then after select the document type as this is a sales voucher so i will select sales voucher now here you will get option of validate file click on this once you will click on validate files so please check it is asking you to add this item and add this counterparty as because in my tally this item and the counterparty is not available so these are uh, some of the changes which i have which we have uh, made in the color of button and also a proper review of that so i will click on approve and please check this is created i will click on approve on buyer supplier and this is created now once i approved it i will click on create new voucher i will use update cancel voucher in case whenever if there is any voucher cancel and, and again i am integrating and i wish to update it over tally itself so i will click on create new voucher please check the vouchers created please check the report to verify once i will go below uh, you will get a particular report where it is saying that this particular voucher is created you can go to the report summary and can check the summary as well so these are the changes which we have uh, made in our tally integration we hope it will be helpful to you while doing tally integration on our new ui ux and some of the new feature have a good day ahead